story is. Nine and one. Grr. Grr. Many years ago, when the earth was nearer the sky than it is today, there lived the first tiger. She and her mate had no babies, and so the lonely tiger often thought about the future, wondering how many cubs she would have. Tiger decided to visit the great god Shao, who lived up in the sky, who was kind and gentle, and knew everything. Surely Shao would tell her how many cubs she would have. Tiger set out on the road that led to the sky. She climbed through the forest of the striped bamboo, the wild banana trees, past plants curved like rooster tails, and sleeping dragons. At last, Tiger came to a stone wall. Beyond the wall was a garden where children played happily under a plum tree. A large house stood nearby, its colorful decorations shining in the sun. This was the land of the great Shao. A peaceful land without sickness or death. Shao himself came out to greet Tiger. The silver coins dangling from his belt sounded softly as he walked. Why did you come here, Tiger? He asked gently. Oh, great Shao, answered Tiger respectfully. I am lonely and I want to know how many cubs I will have. Shao was silent for a moment and then he replied, nine each year. Oh, how wonderful bird, the tiger. Thank you so much, Sugar Gray Shao. And she turned to leave with her good news. One moment, tiger, Shao said. You must rem be careful of what I said. The words alone cannot tell you how many cubs you will have. Do not forget them. For if you do, I cannot help you. At first, tiger was happy as she followed the road back to earth. Soon she began to worry. Oh dear, she said to herself, my memory is so bad, how will I ever remember those important words of Shao? She thought and she thought and she thought. At last she had an idea. I'll make up a little song I sing, and then I won't forget. So Tiger began to sing. Nine and one, grrr, nine and one, grrr. Down the mountain, Tiger went past the rocks shaped like sleeping dragons, past the plants curved like rooster tail feathers, through the forest of striped bamboo and wild banana trees. Over and over she sang her song. Nine and one, grrr, nine and one, grrr. Tiger came closer to her cave. She passed through the clouds of the tiny white butterflies. She heard monkeys and barking deer. She saw green striped snakes, quails and pheasants. None of the animals listening to her song except one big, clever black bird, the emu bird. Hmm, bird said to herself. I wonder why Tiger is coming down the mountain singing that song and grinning from ear to ear. I'd better find out. So bird soared up to the ladder to which was the shortcut to Shao's house. Oh, wise Shao, bird asked politely. Why is Tiger singing over and over? Nine and one. Grrr, nine and one, grrr. And Shao explained that he had just told Tiger that she would have nine cubs each year. That is terrible, squawked the bird. If Tiger has nine cubs each year, they will eat all of us. Soon there will be nothing but tigers in the land. You must change what you said, oh Shao. I cannot take back my words, sighed Shao. I promised Tiger that she would have nine cubs every year as long as she remembered my words. As long as she remembers your words, repeated the bird thoughtfully, then I know what I must do. Oh, great shall. Bird now had a plan. She could hardly wait to try it out. Quickly, she returned to Earth and searched out Tiger. Bird reached her favorite tree as the old grandmother sun was setting, and just in time to hear Tiger counting closer and closer, singing, Nine and one, grrr, nine and one, grrr. <gasps> Tiger was concentrating so hard on her song that she didn't even see Bird landing on the tree above her. 
Suddenly, Bird began to flap her wings furiously. Flap, 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 flap. When Bird's big black wings. Who's that? cried Tiger. Oh, it's only me, answered Bird innocently. Tiger looked her up and down, growling at the bird. Grr, grr, bird, you made me forget my song with all of my noise, with all of your noise. Oh, I can help you, chirped the bird. I heard you walking through the woods. You were singing. One and nine, grr, one and nine, grr. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bird, cried Tiger. I will have one cub every nine years. Oh, how wonderful. This time, I will not forget. The tiger returned to her cave, singing happily. One in nine, grr, grr. One in nine, grr, grr. And that is why the Hmong people say we don't have too many tigers on earth today. The end.